What's up, Wayne Barron here with DrFix.net, and today we're going to be starting our three minute tutorials. And today we're going to start with ASP Classic, so let's go ahead and jump into it. These are three minute tutorials and under. Today we're going to be doing our response.writes, creating of variables, and basically writing information to the screen from ASP Classic. So let's go ahead and jump into it right now. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to create a or we want to do a response that right so let's go ahead and create our tag so hello world and then we save it we go up here and then we load it we got hello world so whatever uh, response that right what it does is that it will grab a hold of the information that you write onto the uh, within these brackets right or your quotes right here we'll write it onto the screen so what if we want to grab a hold of the text that's inside of our query string? So what we would do there is that we would have to, for one, we've got to create a variable. So we would do a get type, and we want to request dot query string, and add that R in yonder, and we are going for the type which is right here that is our query string and so then we can actually do a we got two ways of doing this we can do a response dot write then we can write it out basically like this right here so you got a response dot write and then we can write out get type and then that will write it out for us hello so but um, you can also get rid of that and add in an equal. Well, let's just bring it down here. And then you just add in an equal. Since we created the variable right there, then the only thing we've got to do is just add in an equal right here. And that basically means that we're going to equal this text and show it onto the screen. So let's go ahead and add a break right there. And then we're going to put a break right here as well. And then there we go. Hello world. Hello, hello. Now it's grabbing a hold of this query string, which is of type, and our query is hello. And so now, what if we wanted to look at the text and say, okay, if this exists, then let's show something. So if get type equals hello, then we want to show something. Okay, so what we do now is that we say, um, a break hello we are here end okay so what that's going to do is since the hello is there we're showing this text but what if it's not hello the text disappears so what we can do then is go else uh, you are at the the wrong page so now it's going to show this. So if the um, information is not correct, so if it's not hello, then we're going to show this. So hello will show hello, we are here. And if hello is not there, so hello can be anything really. So we can write Wayne right there. And it's well, I'm at the wrong page. And so if it does not equal this right here, then show something else. If it does equal, then show this. So anyway, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick ASP Classic tip. And I look forward for more. Y'all have a rocking weekend.